From the studio's Vertex Pop comes Super Crush Kyo, a fast-paced brawler, side-scroller that takes place in a very lively and colorful city in the near future. The story is not really the main focus, actually it's pretty linear. However, I mean, saving the kitty is cute and of course the player wants to beat the game because of that, right? Well, the player plays the role of Karen, an ordinary girl who was resting in her room with her pet when suddenly a big explosion echoes over her room. Here comes Karen Rival, Han, <laughs> a being from another galaxy looking to find a friend to keep her company. The goal of the player will be to overcome about 20 levels full of enemies in search of getting Chubbs back. Like I said, the story is super linear. But it is told in a very pleasant way by animated cutscenes, much like comic books, and periodically by just lines of text, sometimes when the player finishes the level. The goal is, of course, finishing the level, but the final score is a factor that can wait on the most competitive players. Yeah, yeah, I know, beating a friend's record can be quite exciting, right? Thus, this title presents these two faces, one with a relaxed streak, and it takes only up to 1 to 2 hours to complete this adventure, and another with a competitive streak to achieve the best possible results. This last one can really add more replayability. Mechanically, it is simple, fast and with a good number of combos that can be applied in many different ways. It really drinks some inspiration from level structures of titles like Donkey Kong or even Mario, but as indicated, the idea of the final score and combos that the player can apply tilts the game out of this sphere in terms of goals. The combo score is displayed from letter D to letter S, hence the worst score and the highest score. In addition to the normal attack and the firearm, Karen has at her disposal some special abilities and a finisher that can help her raise the score. To carry out these special attacks, it is necessary to pay attention to the pink bar. If the player runs out of bars, it is impossible to use these mechanics. To recover, it is necessary to destroy enemies or wait until their regeneration. In this way, it is possible, for example, to throw your enemies into the sky with the hair pop skill, or the ground shake ability, which allows you to hit the ground, causing your enemies to also jump and continue with the combo string. According to defensive abilities, you only have one defensive ability, which is the dash that allows you to dodge enemy attacks, whether they are melee or firing. The finisher, which is the skill that inflicts the most damage to the enemy and it's composed of a blue bar. This bar will only regenerate after the capture of blue stars left by enemies. Unlike the pink bar, it is not automatically regenerated. It is very important to be aware of the dangers left by in the map, because if the player suffers any kind of damage will automatically stop his combo score. And believe me, it is perfectly possible to have the screen full of enemies. In other hand, it is possible to find some platforms that are intended to help the player, with the possibility of jump higher or using the ability to dodge and extend their distance. However, sometimes these attempts to help become a little frustrating or harmful in practice. All the action will take place in four different zones, featured with different backgrounds, but mostly different colors, and the inclusion of new enemies. Starting with Little Shibuya, where the tutorial is initiated and consequently the mechanics of combat, passing by Greenwood Park, West West Pine and finally the zone of the final confrontation downtown. Oh, by the way, note that each zone has 5 different levels, with the last one of each presented a fight against a boss. Super Crush Kyo adds nothing different to the game genre, however it can give a couple of good hours 
of gameplay. Even if it's just to beat that friend's score. So I guess it makes a fun pick. Even if it's just for that. 